Well, hello again. Welcome to another episode of my Sims 4 Let's Play playthrough thingy. And this time I have managed to actually get somewhere and pretty much because I didn't, I haven't quit the game and like reloaded, if you know what I mean, because since the last time, I mean, I will admit, I have made this into one big session. I've been playing for about the last, since I last recorded, probably around the five hours. This has been an epic session. Um, and my guy has disappeared. Oh, he's gone to sleep somewhere. Great! Thank you, Mr. Silly Man. Uh, <laughs> now this is the thing, because uh, I've kind of been doing things and built up some confidence, and one of the things he wanted to do as part of his well, confidence was to come to this lounge and get drinks, or get a drink. So I thought, right, okay. Let's come out, let's get a drink. Um, what I didn't realise... Hold on, let's, let's just slide that down so it's not going mad. Right. Uh, oh, he's woke up anyway. Uh, what I didn't realise is that it seems to be old folks night. Um... <laughs> Because it says that I wanted, I wanted to go to the lounge. I thought, oh, okay, what's the lounge? And it's the one in Oasis Springs. Now, if you're like me, if you live in the other like world, neighbourhood, whatever, um, <laughs> you kind of think, oh, so where's that then? And then obviously, it's here in uh, Oasis Springs. Uh, and like I say, not realising that it, uh, it was as if it was like OAP night. <laughs> because it's pretty much just uh, got old people in there. So, uh, you have to excuse me if it's a bit jerky. I did change the settings, but I think the game needs to be restarted for settings to like, take effect, if you know what I mean. Anyway, enough of that. Um, while I'm sitting here the, in the club, uh, going the wrong bloody way. What, this is the one thing that's so messed up with this game is you try and turn one way and it turns the other way. You know, like, no, I want to turn to the left, not the right. Can I do that? So, anyway. Uh, here we go, let me just go to the notifications. You, this is kind of what's been going on for like the last, like so many years. Let's just, uh, let's see, 39 minutes ago. I think I'm just gonna like drag it all down here. Um, right, uh, I don't know if I did that, but anyway, that was two hours. This is how far it goes back, only two hours, anyway. So, I reached fitness level 2 because my sim basically started getting fat. Now, yeah, he kind of had a bit of a, a bit of a gut on him anyway. Um, but he started getting fat and I thought, I have got to get him to start working out and whatever. So, uh, he basically went to work. Um, what's this? Oh, yeah, I. Uh, ramen is angry. Who the hell's this ramen guy? Are you angry? Are you gonna cut my head off? Who's that there? Brenda Kimball. Hey, up there, old Wyatt! Oh, I think I need to turn off the setting that allows edge scrolling because it's 
It can be a bit annoying sometimes. Uh, oh, that's ramen. So which one was Wyatt? <laughs> right, anyway. Um, oh, yeah, because I'm in the tech guru uh, thing. I created a plugin and it earned me a bit of money. Uh, that was ju just before he went to work. That's how quick it did that. Um, great managers know when to stay above riffraff. That was one of these dilemma questions. Because, let me just, uh, let me just show you. No, no I don't want to go here. I, I want to show this. <laughs> right. Uh, um, I am at the moment. Go away. The project manager. Uh, work in two days because it's well I do have the weekends off on, on at, at this level uh, my performance is great as long as I'm focused uh, and I need to reach level 5 programming which I'm obviously only a little bit away and make three plugins which I just need to make one more and I will get promoted uh, I don't know what the next level will be obviously um, but yeah, that's where I've got to. I mean, it's 73 simoleons an hour, which is pretty great. That's bringing home like over 500 a day. Uh, well, as it says there, brought home 584 today. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, reached level 5 gaming. And I can now research advanced game strategy. And I can also impress other sims and it does actually come up in the uh, in the romance part if it, it's to like impress the ladies uh, also oh, as it says they acquired the gourmet cooking skill so yeah I can make higher uh, higher quality uh, food uh, I became friends with Chloe so I now have two friends uh, I'm friends with Zoe and uh, Zo oh jeez, I've just oh no no I'm not that's Zoe now. I was just gonna say I'm friends with Zoe and Chloe. No, I'm not. I'm not friends with Zoe yet. Uh, in fact, uh, there's another enraged comedy skill that was just a little earlier. Um, right, where am I? Oh. Okay, so he's eating, so uh, let him just finish eating and then, uh, then we'll go home. Actually, there's uh, Chloe. But I don't think she'll come into this club. Mostly because it's for old people. Ah, there's, because this is a thing as well. Oh, and there's my other friend. Uh, I forgot her name. Uh, well, actually, I'll we'll, we'll bring this up and bloop. Um, there we go. Those are people that I have kind of met, spoke to, and actually became friends with. So, charity. That's it. Uh, we're good friends. We're best friends. She's lazy, clumsy, and childish. Not exactly the best match, really. Uh, then we've got Chloe there. As we wait for... There we go. Chloe Hughes. Good friends. Materialistic snob foodie. Not really my kind of uh, person. Uh, Darnell, he was the, uh, the barman. Uh, Dennis, I'm not sure... Who that is? Uh, Zoe Patel. She's one that lives. Uh, well, I say lives quite nearby. She actually lives here in Oasis Springs. Yet, tends to like spend more time in our neighbourhood than uh, than here. I guess I don't know. Anyway, uh, she's a goofball and she's clumsy. And the rest of the people, well, I haven't really met those. That looks like Nancy Landgrab there. 
Yes, it is. There we go. I've started to recognise people as well. So, uh, okay, let's go back to my guy. He doesn't seem to be doing anything. And uh, let us go home. Home sweet home. So here we are. Let's see what this is. Oh, was the energy will be uh, low. Because he's been it for a while and he was pretty much... No. All, all systems were go. Oh yeah, one of the things earlier on. Oh, just the old bathroom decided to break. The toilet needed repairing, the sink needed repairing, then the shower needed repairing. I'm thinking, what is it, break the bathroom day or something? Um, right, uh, oh, look. Sorry, love, not, can't, can't open the door at the moment, asleep. Uh, it's nice that people come to visit, but, you know, they usually visit at uh, inappropriate times. Like when I'm asleep. I mean, I know I was only having a nap, but you know. So, uh, oh, and there she goes. She can come back another time. Uh, oh, and speaking of which, there's uh, this my other friend. Hello. New TV. By the way, uh, I decided to because I obviously, you know been working, getting money, blah blah. Uh, now I have a bigger TV instead of, instead of the one that was kind of a, a bit that, that big. Sort of, yeah. Uh, we've got one that's that big now, a nice, nice big TV. I uh, also upgraded the computer, which I think it's probably the equivalent of a Mac because there's like, oh crap, look, see what I mean with the side, the edge scrolling, ah, um, because that's like the computer and that's like the monitor, you know what I mean, it, there's no tell with this one, so, anyway, yeah, that, that, that's one thing I'll grab. also, oh, talking of upgrades, brand new bed as well, that's, uh, got a better rating than the other one, so, so actually, what it basically means by having these upgraded things, especially the bed, it means less sleep. If you know what I mean. Uh, it's sort of, well, supposed to sort of make it better, but uh, hmm. Come on, up, uh, he will definitely need a shower when he wakes up. Speaking of coffee, as it mentioned in the little pop-up there, this little machine here is something that I was given as a... as a kind of... present, like, from work. Uh, hello, Zoe. If you'll wake up, in just a moment and if you'll hang around he will invite you in oh, okay he's gonna wake up now and invite you in okay fair enough that's even better anyway so this little uh, device here it's uh, a coffee thing you can either brew coffee it costs eight simoleons which seems rather expensive or you can enable the emotional aura I have no idea what that is I have not tried it out yet and uh, yeah, right. If I let's take a steamy shower, that's pretty much it for the updates of the house and stuff. Um, there's nothing else new, um, except except if I click that. Um, yes, dear, I'm in the shower. Um, 
Why did you walk in the bathroom? <laughs> no, we don't know each other well, that, that well yet. Anyway, uh, you know, I don't know if I showed you the lights there before. Uh, I had some lights that were there and they were just like pathetic. To be quite honest with you, though, they didn't really seem to give off any light. And I realised I'd put the wrong ones up there. They were kind of, I don't know, these uh, down lights. I'm not going to show you. Uh, embarrassed? Why should I be embarrassed? She was the one who walked in on me. Oh, jeez. Another visitor now. Uh, that clock. That's what I was going to show you. <laughs> uh, that, yeah, that clock was uh, a present as well. Uh, oh, as you could see there, those are lights that I have in the kitchen. They seem to work quite well. So, uh, ooh, dun -dun, dun -dun. Um, let's put the walls down. That's it. Um, we're feeling kind of floaty. I'm sorry, but I wanted to get to know Zoe a bit better because uh, that's why I kind of let her in, basically. Um, right, uh, let me see. Well, I guess I shall start with asking about her day. I'm not going to bed. And then I will also get this stupid game to stop doing movements I don't want it to. Zoe is embarrassed. Okay. Uh, is, is there a way that I can? Ease her embarrassment. Ah, there we go. Ask for reassurance. There we go. I mean, yeah, I guess you kind of would be embarrassed walking in on me. I didn't. I'm sure, I shouldn't be the one that's embarrassed. Privacy invaded. Stranger danger. <laughs> Ooh, let's ask about love life. I don't think you actually get a like a you know a single pair or whatever like a kind of reply that well gives you any proper like information. Yeah. Uh, I think you need to do things like. Uh, discuss interests. That's a good thing that kind of gets you going. Uh, <laughs> don't mean get you going in that kind of way. I mean, get you. Uh, and that one, get to now, that helps you to. Uh, well, there's only one more trait on it. Oh, and there we go. She's cheerful. That's, those are her traits. There we go. Uh, that, that, that's kind of all you need to know. I, I think if you go to the round, ooh, I could kiss hands. Uh, ask if single. Well, I say ask if single. It's a bit of a silly question because everybody seems to be single despite them apparently living with someone, which is kind of strange. Uh, See, and there we go, Zoe is single, but then again, she does live in the roommate's uh, household, which they are pretty much like just friends or well, students, I guess you could say, living together. Um, so, 
Uh, let's see what, what choices do we have to talk. Uh, hmm. We do have quite a lot of choices, really. Uh, let's try and tell an engaging story, see how that goes. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty much back on track to uh, what I wanted to do with the game, and um, oh, hello, Flubberdark can now upload images on a computer and also sweet talk other sims. Ooh. I really should get going now. Okay, bye. Thank you for visiting. Thank you. Please come again. So, uh, yeah, as I say, I'm kind of back on track with things. Uh, now then, the uh, I've got the logic got. I need to read two more books in order to uh, to do this whatever this is, this aspiration thing um, then there's the job which oh actually I'm working five hours okay well, in those five hours I should should be able to uh, let's just check what is eating already what what is it? Oh, then again, there are some leftovers in the fr well, not not so much leftovers, but uh, meals that I've made. I, it, it's the, one of the best things to do actually is make many meals, put them in the fridge. They last a lot longer, and they're a lot more filling than just having a quick meal such as cereal and things like that. So, so anyway, uh, there's that. Uh, which one's that one? Oh, that's the skills. Uh, oh, go away, silly pop up. We know. I think it's probably probably better if. Ah, there we go. Oh, oh not that far. Uh, there we go. Those are the. Uh, there's. The, those are the skills that I have acquired. <laughs> um. Oh, well, you saw the relationships uh, thing before. Ah, there's Dennis. There's Tiffany. Ooh, check the glasses. Those glasses are part of the uh, the limited edition stuff you get in the uh, in the game. Um, that one's my inventory. Oh, right, that's right. Um, because when you repair things, such as sorry. Well, I shouted at you then. Repair things! <laughs> when you repair things, such as... Uh, funnily enough, the fridge broke as well. I had to repair that. Uh, the computer broke, but when that broke, I just bought the new one. Uh, bit of a silly thing to do. <laughs> I didn't have... I just about had the, enough money to, uh, to buy the new computer. But I went and got one anyway. So anyway, uh, when you repair things... For some uh, well, <laughs> I say for some reason, kind of like in real life, you always end up with spare parts. And what you can do is you can collect those parts, uh, such as there. I've got fifteen. Um, and what you can do, see, a generic part usable in many different types of upgrades. So what I could do with such as the toilet there, you can upgrade it, uh, add a superior flush. Uh, reduces how often the toilet will clog. Flubberdar will have to use two common upgrade parts. Uh, I think can I should be able to do the same. I think with uh, with his cook open. Oh no, okay. So you can't with the with the fridge. I think you probably could with. Well, oh. I think you probably could with a cooker. Oh no, can't upgrade that. Right, the shower. <laughs> you can upgrade the shower, as you can see. Uh, upgrade the water flow regulator. Uh, it just tells you what you'd be able to use. And I think I can upgrade the sink. Yeah. To sturdy faucets. 
A great way to lower the frequency of braking. Blah, blah, blah. It's it's kind of similar if uh, if you've played The Sims 3 before you could like upgrade stuff to self-cleaning and unbreakable and that kind of thing. That's kind of the same thing, it's just that you use these parts. Oh, that's a plumbing upgrade part, so a useful part for blah blah blah. So you've got plumbing upgrade parts and common upgrade parts, which the generic parts you can use with, I guess, like anything and everything. So, so there's that anyway. Uh, the Simology... What I realised, the reason this bar is to there and it says days till age up 14, I didn't realise that when I'd started the new game, um, I'd forgotten to turn the ageing off. So, I will, my sim was ageing <laughs> without me realising. And that is actually quite a new thing here. Meals cooked, shows taken, times kissed, bathroom breaks, social events attended, go here's obeyed, times woohooed, virgin! Uh, Meals eaten, 18, uh, fights won, I haven't had any fights yet. Uh, Bladder failed, passed out. Oh, there's a misfortune. Oh, I didn't say misfortunes. Goals. Total whims completed. Whims are like the little things there, like the little clouds. Uh, what is it? Emotions. Times dazed, angry. Oh, I was bored once. Uh, been confident quite a few times. Embarrassed two times. That was the first time I was embarrassed. Um, anyway. Uh, energized. Flirty. Focused, happy, uh, inspired, playful, sad, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's it. Okay. And being uncomfortable quite a lot of time. But that's because you're uncomfortable when you're... Uh, you're up and wow. Damn. When your things go low, that's when you become uncomfortable. Such as you, once, you, once you bloody get to even about there, you become uncomfortable. It's a little bit ridiculous how quickly you do become uncomfortable, but there you go. Um, right, so uh, there we go. There's uh, there's that like, little update of that I have got back up to track now where I'm where I should have been before before all the save game thing went on. And hopefully it will continue like this. Um, so, but I will leave it there now. You're all caught up with me, and I can get on doing different things now. Uh, such as earlier on when you saw me at a different place, I was out and about. That I will be doing more of that, and uh, and basically having some fun. So, if you've liked what you've seen, please. As people say, drop a like and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. It's totally up to you. I'm not asking, I'm not begging. If it's totally up to you, if you want to like and subscribe my video, then please do so. It's, uh, it gives me a little bit of confidence, actually. I mean, uh, people, when YouTubers say that it gives them a bit more confidence to, to like, make videos and whatever, I think it does. I think that's what they probably mean by it helps them. It, it, it helps them, it gives them a bit of confidence, it lets them know that people are watching the videos. And so, yeah. All that's left to say is thanks for watching, and join me next time, and goodbye!